Hello my lovely wolf pack, I am back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at creepy images from Google part 2. Before I start today, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, follow me and everything links in the description for my last video if you have not seen it. And in the description I will also put part 1 of this series. Roll the intro. <laughs> Alright, so the first image we have is some kind of creepy, humanoid, alien, demonic son of a bitch. I, don't, I honestly can't tell what this is, but it's creepy nonetheless. Um, maybe it's from... Maybe it's a demon, I guess. Huh. Up next is a child. Not just any child, a possessed child. I don't know if you guys feel the same way about this. Tell me in the comments if you do. Which is more scarier? Child spirits or like grown up spirits? You tell me. Personally, child spirits creep me out more um, than actual full grown ghosts. So we have a Slender Man knockoff. Um. <sighs> It's obviously not the original Slender Man. He has no mouth, yet he has a nose and hair and ears. Wait, does Slender Man have ears? I don't think he knows. Nonetheless, he has no mouth. It looks like someone just erased it with fucking photo editing or whatever it's called. Photoshop. Oh, shit. This bitch. Whew, damn. She looks like she's been through some shit. She also looks like she needs some mental help. She looks like something you would find in Scream. Or The Exorcist. What the hell is... Is that someone's... Is that like a sausage? Oh, hell no. That's not a sausage. That's a fucking human head. She's legit eating a human head. You can see the brains and shit. Thank God this is like... all. This is like diluted, so... YouTube should be fine with it, but still, that is a human head. What the hell? Oh, fuck. I've heard of these things. They're Wendigos. Wendigos are in Native American folklore, and I think there's another folklore, too, but essentially what it is, uh, it used to be a human, and what it does is it became a cannibal and transformed into a creature known as a Wendigo. And what it does is that it eats things, like it eats an animal, uh, it can eat a deer, a wolf, a bear, stuff like that. And it turns into that monster, uh, creature, that animal, only instead of, like, you know, just being that creature, it's not only that creature, it doesn't look normal, though. It looks like it's rotting, but alive at the same time. And the only way to kill it, I believe, is you have to stake it in the heart or shoot it. But since it's physical... You can shoot it with a blessed or enchanted bullet, but it has to be, like, enchanted with white magic. Those won't kill it, but it will slow it down long enough for you to run away. We have another possessed girl. She looks like she's around 20, maybe 21. Uh, we have the classic black eyes and black teeth. Looks like she hasn't brushed her teeth in three years. Um... Why is she holding her ears? Maybe it's because it's like, oh, I don't want to hear your shit. Is this is what it, I think, is this what it's like when you have a wife and it's that time of the month for her? I think this is it. No offense, ladies. Oh, fuck yes, the black eyed kids. Oh, God, yes, y'all have got to know about the black eyed kids. I did a different video uh, on her, but. Maybe y'all didn't see it. Uh, if y'all did, uh, let me know in the comments. So, there's that. Anyway, up next, a fucking legit, a fucking witch. She looks like one of those witches you think is in a horror movie. The one that's like decaying and there's a spirit. Shit, that's creepy as hell. Okay, next, we have another, another 
demonic woman who looks like her jaw is broken off and she glued it back in place because it is not good. Never do surgery on yourself. Go to a hospital. Alright, so this time we have a woman whose eyes are gouged out and her mouth cut. It looks like someone sliced all up there. Her face is dripping blood at some black and white. You do not want to mess with this girl. Oh, uh, this is creepy as hell. Uh, this um, looks like a middle-aged smoker with no eyes. Also interesting, um, if you look closely, you can see that half of his face is missing. Um, I can just tell you that if you put a side-by-side -side with a perfectly healthy man and this picture, it could be one of those commercials where it's like, this is your heart. This is your heart on cigarettes. And then you just, it, it, it would be funny. <laughs> Ew, wow, that's just fucking disgusting. Look at this doll. Ugh. This doll looks like it has real hair and real human teeth. Fuck, the skin looks real too, but I mean, it looks pale, but it looks real like the... This is the doll you would find in a serial killer's house. This is probably what Jeffrey Dahmer gives his, like... This is probably what Jeffrey Dahmer would give his daughter, like, if he had one. It's like, oh, I have this daughter, and she's, like, a uh, cannibal, too. We teach her how to, how to, how to do all this shit. For, 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 for Christmas, little sweetheart, I got you a doll made out of real human body parts. And she's like, yay, thank you, daddy. And then they just have a perfectly insane Christmas. <laughs> oh, I love the holidays. That... Up next, we have, I believe this is a change link. If you don't know what a change link is, a change link is, I believe it's from Celtic mythology. Uh, at least that's the one I know it's from. But, uh, some cultures believe they're bad and some are good. But in this case, it's bad because it looks like it's just a human flesh. So, I'm going to tell you the bad side, since this is supposed to be a scary video. So, a change link is a creature. When you have your child sleeping in the room, it is well known that somehow, maybe if you leave a window, a door unlocked, the big mama change link comes in and steals your child, brings it back to their cave, and relieves, leaves one of their childs in their place. And during that time, it will look normal at first. And it will slowly start to change into the original form of that change link child. But the whole entire time, they're torturing the parents. Or mother, I don't really care. You know, Parents are parents, right? Well, anyways, it starts torturing it. Not physically, not like stabbing or nothing, but like emotionally, like always being around him and shit, and blah, blah, blah. And then the parents slowly start to go insane, which feeds the child. And when the changeling child is fed, the actual changeling mother is also fed. Uh, the only way to kill a changeling is to go and kill the mother changeling, which then kills all the babies. If you kill a changeling baby, that will not kill the mother. That will just kill the baby child, and you'll look like a murderer. Uh, so, little thing, a little thing. And I believe the changelings uh, will eat the baby, the actual baby or child. So, careful. Up next is another doll, only this one looks like it's made out of human hair, and also the f there's no teeth, and one eye is missing, but the most of the face looks like it has fresh skin on it. What is with these dolls and having real human skin? Do they not accept their plastic face? That is just fucked up. Imagine, imagine asking Santa for this, and then, like, please, Santa, I am Caitlin, and I'm nine years old, and I would like a Hannah Montana doll, and you get this. Honestly, <laughs> that's kind of accurate. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Uh, no, I just don't have some Miley haters. Fuck. You didn't get me. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so... I included this picture. I know it's not that scary, but it's scary on a different level. Uh, this is some. This is what I believe is in purgatory. This is scary on a whole nother level. 
Um, this is some kind of weird, possessed, creepy forest that I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like to go down night or day, so... I'm sorry. But don't go there. Oh shit! What happened to the to the to the scarecrow? What? What happened to the fucking scarecrow? The, the what happened? Jesus. Okay. Um. If this is what ha the wicked witch did to the scarecrow, I certainly don't want to see what she did with the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion. I don't want to see that. The last picture that we're going to review is this, which I'm pretty sure is an orc. The reason I included this is imagine just like walking through the woods alone, having a nice time, exploring nature, and you see this. You think it's a statue, so you walk up a little closer and try to see why is a little what the statue is. You snap a twig, and the thing turns around with its fucking big axe. And you're like, oh, that's not a statue. And you book it, and then it catches up and goes, Whoa! Yeah, and uh, my friend Joseph is really into orcs, so shout out to him. Alright you guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, follow me and everything, and links in the description for my last video. Thank you so much, goodbye.